Uh, I'm Guo Ping Feng. I'm a professor of neuroscience at MIT at the Bhagavad Institute for Brain Research. Uh, my interest is to uh, understand the neurobiological mechanisms of neurodevelopment disorders such as Rett syndrome and uh, Feeling McDermott syndrome and many other uh, related disorders. Hi, my name is Stephen Colvin. I'm a graduate student with Colvin Fong. My research interests are in neurodevelopmental disorders, the mechanisms and underlying causes for these disorders, and how we can develop better treatments and therapy. At MIT is, you know, traditionally considered engineering school, but MIT also has a very strong biological uh, research and especially in the brain research. We have actually two different institutes, uh, Magami Institute for brain research and Pekawa Institute for learning and memory. A huge advantage is uh, MIT also has a lot of technology development and technology de advancement is critical for all kinds of science advances. And I think it's not to be understated. Um, MIT is such an amazing community. And as Gopin said, a lot of great engineers at MIT, a lot of people developing new tools and technologies. So one of all the people that I get to meet um, in our beautiful atrium here, I know a lot of people working on the frontiers of research and how to treat these conditions. So we have Feng Zhang in the Broad Institute right across the street, and we're able to collaborate on a lot of projects, including RNA editors and gene therapy approaches. I got interested in rat syndrome actually mostly by the, um, uh, the invitation to attend the meetings by uh, Red Syndrome Research Trust, actually. It was very, especially talking to Monica and talking to the families there is really inspiring. Yeah, the stories of Red Syndrome are particularly, they're very motivating. I've actually went to college with someone whose sister was affected by Red Syndrome and a condition that causes such severe intellectual disability where the symptoms are always changing is a very challenging disease. There's nothing more honorable than to try and address this condition and work towards a cure. Uh, for brain research, we have uh, uh, one of the biggest obstacles of brain research is we cannot access the brain tissue and uh, for obvious reasons. So we heavily rely on really good animal models. And well, our hope is this an these models will be available to the whole research community. And the second goal is to, uh, actually try to uh, with the advancement of new genome editing technology, the gene therapy method, it is not really possible that uh, develop a new method that uh, we can correct the mutation and that will provide uh, eventually provide a cure for these disorders. Making, making rat, rat history. Making rat history.